Um, I probably started volunteering when I was really young and I used to door knock for um, Red Cross and for Salvation Army with, um, with my mum. And then I started doing a 40 hour famine when I was probably nine or 10, 10 years old. And so I think that probably was the start of it really. I think that my professional experience as a lawyer probably really helps with um, my philanthropic work because it's, um, despite our reputation, quite a giving profession um, and a lot of lawyers give a lot of their time for free and working in criminal law means that you're working with um, really disadvantaged people anyway, so you often do a lot of uh, pro bono work and I think that that really helps, I guess, with um, giving time and time and effort to the community. Um, I'm not sure I really seek out new philanthropic opportunities um, greatly, but I guess those opportunities come to you. People know that you might have particular skills, for example, uh, in some of the legal organisations that I'm involved in, and so they come to you, and usually they're really worthy causes, so um, I have trouble saying no, and then I end up you know, with more things to do, so that's usually how it works with me anyway. Rachel's um, an extraordinary woman. Uh, she's extremely supportive and passionate about women and refugees. And I guess the very essence of what a volunteer of the community is. Everyone wants to live a good life and a happy life. And for me, I think a good happy life involves um, being useful and uh, doing works for others. So I think that's probably why I do philanthropic work because I think that it's the best way for me to live uh, my version of a good life.